kind of the same thing. We're going to make some stroke rings, rings, circles that don't have any color in the middle, don't no fill, but they have a stroke. And we're going to make one of them and then duplicate them on different layers by, by, by pressing Control D or Command D on a Mac, Control D on anything else. And what that does is it duplicates the layer. So we're going to make one of those, make three of them, go into each one, change the color, change the name of the layer so it's that color, add a camera, and then we're going to add something called a null object. And the null object is going to, the camera is going to be parented by the null object. So wherever the null object goes, the camera goes. And it's a trick that um, somebody in After Effects, and I can't forget the guy's name, uh, somebody pretty famous came up with this idea. And uh, now it's really the way to, to do a camera. It makes it super simple. All right, so we're gonna, this is, this is what we're gonna do here. You have three rings and you have the camera going through, but the camera is not being powered. It's being parented by a, this little blank square called a null object. And you're able to, um, to move the camera with, with uh, much ease. All right, so something like that. And there's that little null object right there. It's just a blank um, little square. So um, I don't know how this guy came up with this, but After Effects, it, you know, um, I think people were trying to figure out what this thing null object was, and now this is generally how it's used. So I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to stick with this, you know, project file, but I'm going to make a new composition. Again, you can make mul multiple new compositions and call it. Um, Circle um, null object. And again, HTTV 1080. I'm going to make mine 30 seconds, but I'll shorten the workspace. 1920 by 1080. Okay. All right, so here it is. Now, um, the first thing we're going to do is make a ring, make a circle. So I'm going to grab my, my ellipse tool. And before I do... I'm going to go over here, and if I have a fill color here, I can click on the word fill and say none. Okay? That way there's no color when I make it. And then the stroke, you can click. If you don't have a stroke, sorry. If you don't have a stroke, you can click on the word stroke and choose the second one, solid. And then you can up the pixels and make it like, you know, 70 or 80 or something. Make it kind of thick. And I'm going to, you know, I can keep the color yellow. So I'm going to hold the shift key down to make a true circle. I'm going to hold the shift key down while I use this and make it, you know, kind of, kind of like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to change this word to yellow. So just hit the enter key. Okay, and then I'm also going to make this 3D. Okay, and again, if you don't see that, you can hit the toggle switches. And you're looking for the little cube icon. And then I'm going to click on here. Just a second here. I'm going to click on here. Now, my access point is in the middle. If it is not, you can go to layer, transform, you know, center anchor point and content. Yeah, just in case. Now, I've got one of those, but I need I need two more. So if I hold the control key down and press D, it'll make a copy, see? I want two copies. And then what I'm going to do is on each one, I can click on them, each layer, and go up here and change the color. Oh. Oh. Sorry, they were they were under each other. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, and then I'm gonna so I'm gonna make this one uh, pink. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna change the name up here. I click on the word and then hit the enter key or return key on a Mac and just say uh, pink. And then hit the other one, yellow three. And again, because it's under the other one, you want to move it a little bit and then go up here and change it to you know, some obnoxious color. Okay. So now I'm going to, again, I'm going to change this yellow 
and call it uh, green. Okay, so now I have three 3D layers. And notice up above here, now again, if you don't have two views, you could go down to two views. And this is the top view. And if you want to use this in, in 3D, but notice they're all in the same space in the Z. So they're all beside, excuse me, they're all beside each other, which is fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep one forward. Let's keep the yellow one forward. And actually, let's move it a little bit forward. So I clicked on the yellow one. And I'm going to find the Z over here, if you can. And again, move it, you know, maybe so it's like that. Okay. And then click on the pink one. And you're looking for the Z, which is kind of up above here, in front. And I'm going to move it back like that. Now I'm also going to move it over because I want it to sit right in the middle of that circle like that. Okay. And that was on the X. Okay. And remember, if you get mixed up, all you have to do is go control Z or command Z on a Mac, but control Z that's edit undo. You just don't panic. Stop what you're doing. If you messed up and go control Z a couple times and it takes you back before the mess up. So way to go. All right, and then the green one, I'm going to put in the middle here. I always like to work with the Z first and put it like, you know, kind of in the middle of the two. Something, you know, something like that. And then I'm going to move it over on the X. And then maybe just a little bit down on the Y. Like that. Now I haven't set my camera up yet, but you know those are those are close. So I have you know the yellow, the green, and the pink. All right, with no camera yet. So I'm going to click away everything, and I'm going to go layer new camera. And again, I want one node. I want 50 millimeter, but it doesn't really matter. You can go 35 or whatever. But all these are pretty much by default. You always want to enable depth of field. You want you know, lock to zoom. Okay. And then um, say okay. And then there's the camera. Okay. Now again, wherever this line is, that's what's in focus. Now everything's in focus now because we haven't messed around with the aperture. All right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the Z back here of the camera. And before I do anything, I have it on the yellow. And I'm also going to uh, maybe, let's see if I'm able to expand the yellow here. Nope. Okay, um, like that. Okay, it kind of stretched a little bit, but that's okay. All right, now instead of moving the camera, I'm also first thing though. Let me move the. Let me do something with the camera. Here's the camera, and again, the camera is already 3D, but all the layers it it reacts. The layers only react to the camera because they're 3D. So you have to make sure these are all you know on. But if, I'm going to click this little arrow where it says camera one and go to the camera options again. Make sure depth of field is on, and then here's my here's my aperture at 25. I'm going to move it up, and as I move it up things become out of focus. See? So I'm going to move it up to about a thousand. Okay? And you can mess around with the blur level, but the, you know, I typically don't. You can mess around with focal distance too. I typically don't. I just deal with the aperture. So when I move it, and let me um, let me show you, let me move this camera. So see how things are out of focus and in focus and whatever. And let me move that line back there. Kind of like that, okay. Now, as I said, we're not gonna we're not gonna move the camera. We're gonna uh, do something called parenting, and I'm gonna make a new layer, and run the camera off this new layer. And the layer new is gonna be a null object. And see this little square, this blank square right here. 
That's a null object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename the null object. I'm going to go over here where it says null2, hit the enter key, and say it um, like camera op or something. It's going to be op it's going to be operating the camera. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the camera layer and where it says parent link. Now, you, again, you can switch these little switches. But where it says parent link, I'm going to go to the camera and, and make the parent of the camera camera op. All right. So parent and then I chose camera op. So that means now wherever the camera op goes, the camera is going to go. Okay. Now. Before I do anything here, you'll notice that my access point of my little camera, and notice a null object is just a blank square, but my access point is up here, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go layer, transform, center anchor point, and layer content, and it moves it down. Just generally, I like to do that. Okay? All right. So now what we're going to do is... I'm going to go to the camera up, up and hit the P key and set a keyframe. I have my scrubber at the beginning here. I'm going to set my little stopwatch. Oh, sorry. I need to make this camera up a 3D. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's 3D now. Now what I'm going to do is, as I said, let me click, let me click this and just press P on the camera op. And now there's 3D, there's X, Y, and Z, okay? So I'm gonna hold it, I'm gonna, I like to, uh, let me set it again. And notice again, when I do set the stopwatch, it makes a little uh, dot, a keyframe. I'm gonna move it down just a little bit so it doesn't start right away. And then I'm gonna click this little thing. It's an empty little keyframe that when I click it, it sets another keyframe. And the cool thing is, again, it's a way to have things not move for a, a moment. Right? And the cool thing is, I can move, if it's not long enough, I can move this down. You know. But let me move it back up. Like that. And then I'm going to go down here. Maybe five seconds. And now this is the weird part. I'm going to um, move the null object. So I can do it a couple different ways. The easiest way is, there's a couple different things. On the z-axis, I can keep doing that. I can also go and grab the z and move it down on the overhead. And I want to get just past the pink there. And if I want, see how the pink and the green are kind of, I think they're off a little bit. So um, I can also move the X a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me go back. I messed up. Let me go Control Z. And all I want to do is just barely move it. Let me try that. Um, and again, come on. There it is. Too much. Right there. And then let me see if I can go further on the Z. Yeah, that'll be good. We'll see how that is. Okay, so I'm going to take my work area. Something like that. Man, it's taking a long time. So the first time sometimes when you run through this stuff, it has to process... Um, all right, but this, let me go back. 
there. All right, here, let me see. Maybe I was just zoomed in. Yeah, okay, it was right. It just it was it was zoomed in. So let me let me play it again here. And again, the first time this thing loops here, it takes a while to process. So let me But I was zoomed in, and sometimes you don't know you're zoomed in. <laughs> I like to see a little bit of the gray area around my my screen. Yeah. There you go. All right. It took me a little bit longer. I apologize. But again, we're moving things with the null object and not with the camera. So wherever the null object goes, the camera goes, and it just makes it a lot easier because sometimes you're fiddling with the camera and you're trying to turn it and you get it gets confusing sometimes what you're looking at. And, and this uh, top view really does help too. So, all right. There you go. Go ahead and make that. And then next, we're going to um, create a, um, a slideshow in 3D space with an expression, with a JavaScript expression called Wiggle.